Alrighty, YouTube, back at it again with our 40 foot Tamiya container trailer. Um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and start building the lower deck part, our big fat aluminum piece. Um, but first, I wanted to show you how to install the container hold downs, which are these guys here. Um, they're the part that goes on the actual trailer and holds down the container to the trailer. So, let me get the trailer up here. Um, I left two spots open, the last two spots right here. So, what you need to do, let's see if we can get you closer so you can see, is you take this piece here with your cone on it, Take this piece here, you can see it's got two different sides. These ears, as you can see, right here. Get my focus on it. So those ears right there, those are what you would use to lock in and support the turning mechanism. So it goes on with those ears facing down. You get these black O-rings. You get two of them on each one. Just go on like that. And that just drops into that hole. Like so. And with the cone facing this direction, you take your lever and it slides on facing this direction. So just kind of hold those in place, put a little Loctite on your Allen screw, and start installing the screw in. You want to make sure you're holding that in place the whole time, because if you don't, that part will roll off or slip off the cone and you'll get your angle, your your orientation a little off which will affect where that lever sits when you're locking the trailer down. So again, the last one, a little cone, the two big ears like that towards the top of the cone, your two O-rings, Like so, drop it in, get your lever portion, put it on facing front, lever out, hold them in place, put a little octet on your Allen, start screwing it in. And that's how you install those. But again, make sure you're holding everything in place. That way you don't end up with any uh, levers in the way when you put your trailer on. Or your container on. So when you're not using them, just turn them aside. And when you want them to drop all the way down, just push it through like that and... They disappear, so that's how you do that. We'll set that aside. We'll go ahead and start building our lower deck. Now, I already primed the raw aluminum. I just did it with the Tamiya primer. Um, it's going to be really hard to see this is gray, and this is actually the green. They want you to prime or you to finish painting it. It's kind of a grayish green, so. Um, let me clear off some of this stuff real quick and we'll get to building it. So give me just a second. Alright, we're back. So, for this step, um, this is step 23. We'll do 23 and we'll do 24. So for 23, you need Y9, which is this guy. This is where your trailer door lock 
pins drop into and lock your trailer door shut. This is the backing plate. This is Y10. It goes behind your aluminum bracket so that the trailer door locks to it or it gives it added support so for your, your screw to go so it just slides in behind like that and this goes on front like that make sure you're getting your orientation right the openings are down and they just go together with four of the uh... what are these BC12's they're self tapping two by eight mil screws this step uses a lot of them so just be prepared you're gonna probably do part of the step take a break part of the step take a break um, we're talking like 40 to 50 screws just on this step alone um, it's quite a quite a bit so when you're putting this piece in make sure you also have it oriented right with this piece like this your uh, Y10 goes in like that with the flat side down. Um, you know, you may not think it matters, but they designed it and draw it in the picture that way for a reason. So just say for the sorry to make sure you're, you're getting all your orientation right. So I'm just going to put two screws in this just to kind of hold it in place, and then I'll go to the next step, which is assembling the other part of this which is um, L7 and L8 screw in real quick now L7 and L8 are these guys here again they're gonna matter so with your bracket like this open side down L7 is going to go in like this so it'll square off this bracket and get rid of the sharp edges of the aluminum and again it just goes together with a couple DC 12's one on two on each side so this one tight so I can flip it around and show you what everything looks like we got it all together properly. Alright. So, just look like that. We're all together properly. The opening's down. You're building it like this. The opening's down. So, I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to run all these screws in. I'm going to put a L8 on, which goes like that. And there's going to be a lot more pausing in this one just because there's so many screws. So give me just a sec. Alright guys. We're back. Um, I was paused for about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. I put all these screws in. That hold all the planking down here. Um, I didn't think you guys really needed to see me. Putting in a 40 screws. 45 screws. Um, it was kind of ridiculous. But what we are going to do is we are going to install our bumper. Now this portion is inside, all the screw heads is inside our trailer. So we'll roll it over. And according to the diagram, this guy gets set on this back piece. And there's the two holes here. It actually goes into those two holes. So you just kind of set it in place and roll it over. And you'll notice that... Well, I scratched the paint, but alright. Uh, you'll notice that this part right here fits into this groove in the aluminum. So we'll just set it down right there. Get a couple screws in it real quick. I wore my other driver almost out doing that one. All those screws, so I don't know where I put it either. 
Like I said, it was it was about an hour. It was good fun and totally uncool. Here's my good driver. Um, it's a lot of work. Don't do it if you've just had hand surgery like me. Takes you a lot longer. Your hands get worn out a little quicker. So, put these two in and then we'll put our brackets on this side over here. So I've just got those two in to hold it in place. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our bracket setup. This is what the trailer is actually going to attach to to hold the container in the place. Now you'll notice, if I find my other one real quick, which I can't. We got that one, and we got this one, that they're different openings. You got to make sure you get the right opening in the right spot. They throw it on the ground. So, this is not the right way of doing that. They want you to have it like that. So that the opening is long ways through this valley. Now they have two different individual ones in the kit. Um, BD7 and BD8. So just make sure you're getting them separated right. Let's see if I find my other one real quick. Okay. And those go on with this plastic part which is uh, X10 and I'll try it so the video service is in view this X10 this slides in place like that and it kinda just hugs the corner and then you take your BD-8 on this particular side, or BD-7 on this particular side, and it sits like this. And then you have this guy here. Turn our light back so we can kind of see. Right here, this is, um, what are we calling this guy? X4. Now X4 has an opening right here. Kind of hard to make out. There we go. That opening right there. And you actually are going to stick the nut that you attach part of it through into it. And it should clip in or click into place. So kind of just give it a push. Alrighty, so it just slides in like that, and then with the opening facing outside to the trailer, the outback of the trailer, it sits in like this, just like that. And we're actually going to put a screw in there, and we're going to put that screw in first, because it'll be easier to get to without the metal piece in the way, and then the last two screws go into the metal piece. Now that goes together with a BC1, not a BC2, BC1, which is a 3x12 machine screw, obviously, because it's going into a lock nut. And that piece of plastic should hold that lock nut nice and tight so you can run run at night, you run the screw down. And then you just take your Excuse me. Your BD7, that gets put on just like this with the opening going that direction on the trailer. And that gets put on with 
your BC2s, which are 3 by 8 and a lock nut. Again, the plastic should hold the lock nut for you. <coughs> Excuse me, so there's no tool required. No wrench tool at least required. Let's see if I get it to start. There we go. So put both of them in. Well, we got to take this bumper guard loose because I forgot to put one of the nuts in first. So make sure you do these white pieces before you put that bumper guard on because the bumper guard covers or the the door door latch piece attaches underneath and there's a screw or a nut you can't get to with that bumper or the door portion in the way. So come on. There we go. There we go. And just run them down nice and tight. Ah, rats. I built that entirely wrong. I just noticed. It's upside down. Well, while I fix my mistake, um, total noob mistake, but it's all right. So this piece, ta-da, it actually goes on like that. Like I said, total beginner's mistake. But I'm not a professional builder, so I'm okay to make them. And at least if I make them, you guys can learn from them. So, that goes there, like so, I'll put that in real quick, So this trailer mechanism obviously goes on the bottom of the trailer, not the middle or the inside of the trailer in this particular case. So redo that because these are what the door and the side rails and everything attach to. So, and that piece goes like so. So it flips it back over and reattach it. But we can't do that yet. So, anyway, that's what we're going to end up with. Notch going that way. Um, and whatnot. The video is getting kind of long, so I think I'll I'll do step twenty four in the next video. Um, learn from my mistake. It happens, and don't get frustrated when you make them because I make them all the time. I just compose the video. So uh, 
Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Poke a little fun at my mistake. I don't care. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, Speedy Mech signing off.